Hello everyone. Today we'll be going through Cambridge International ESD level mathematics paper 1 pure mathematics 1 970911 October November 2020. Let us move to question number 1. Question number 1 says uh, find the set of values of m for which the line with equation y is equal to mx minus 3 and the curve with equation y is equal to 2x squared plus 5 do not meet. This is three mark question and this graph I have inserted for your explanation. I'll explain in a while. So this is not part of the question. So uh, the, for uh, equation, for these two equations do not meet mean if they are meeting then we are equating for meeting an, a curve and an equation like for example this curve and equation are meeting at these two points so how we are checking we are equating them so to equate them we can write 2x squared plus 5 is equal to mx minus 3 and we can shift everything to this side so 2x squared uh, minus mx plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 0 and we can write 2x squared minus mx and plus 8 is equal to 0 this is quadratic equation in terms of x so a value is equal to 2 b value is equal to minus m and c value is equal to 8 now um, for the condition that do not meet it means that um, for there are no solutions for this one and for no solutions we are checking discriminant which is b square minus 4 ac and b square minus 4 ac should be less than 0 or you can say that it should be negative less than 0 or we can say that it should be negative now we can check you know, b square mean minus m whole squared minus 4 into a will be 2 and c will be 8 and we will check this value it should be less than a 0 and by the condition so it will be m squared minus 4 into 2 will be 8 8 into 8 will be 64 and less than 0 and further we can apply the formula a squared minus a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b and this will be uh, this is m squared so we can write m squared minus um, 8 squared is less than 0 this means m plus 8 and m minus 8 this is basically the factorization and less than 0 or we can write m is equal to 8 and m is equal these are the values which we will be uh, checking for uh, for uh, the range of values for m and now what we can do we can uh, draw a small sketch for understanding the values and for that one we can like for example this is the quadratic graph and if this is the quadratic graph uh, minus 8 is say this is minus 8 and plus 8 is over here so this is plus 8 and the graph will is cu curving like for example curving like this one so u shaped upward opening upward and now what are the values values are uh, less than so it should be less than zero less than zero value is which one less than zero values are for y value less than zero are in this region this one so this will be in between minus eight and eight and we can write m is greater than minus eight and less than 8 this will be our final answer now what what we can do this type of questions we are uh, in transmission questions or in curve questions 
better to practice and there are so many softwares available on the net and you can con you can check those uh, softwares and i will explain this one by a software like over here this is the software which i opened and this is the equation y is equal to 2x square plus 5 which is in our question uh, this equation is provided if we plot this one by this software this is the curve and you can see this is uh, intercepting at uh, uh, 5 so intersecting at five, uh, like y intercept is by this one y intercept is 0 and 5 and if we check the lines which is y is equal to our values are plus 8 which is excluding plus 8 and excluding minus eight. so in between 8 and minus 8 but those two values are excluded so if we take 8x minus 3 our line will be touching to the curve over here and this will be the intercept uh, of a line and the curve which is 2 and 13 similarly if we take minus value it will be touching on this side so these will be if we are taking equal to this one then this will be the situation now uh, if we are taking something which is lesser than 8 and more than minus 8 like for example here i have taken minus 3 so if we plot it will be not touching this uh, quadratic curve so if any value any value which is uh, like in between 8 and minus 8 it will not be uh, touching to the uh, to the curve so line will be uh, having no line and graph will be having no solutions so this is how we can figure out and in these two cases it will be tangent to the curve hopefully you understood this the same thing i have copied uh, on the paper also and this is the graph which i have inserted for you if we go through this one and you can see here also uh, this is uh, intercept which is minus 3 minus 2 and 13 and this 2 and 13 and these two equations which i've shown you uh, from the software these two equations are in between minus 8 m value m value greater than minus 8 and less than 8 so within this range and excluding it's not less than equal to or this type of symbol is not there it's only less than hopefully you understood this now we can move to the next question next question uh, says the equation of the curve is such that dy by dx is equal to 1 over x minus 3 x minus 3 squared plus x it is given that the curve passes through the point 2 and 7 find the equation of the curve so to find if a derivative is given to find the value of y we are integrating so integral of this side dy over dx with respect to x will be equal to integral of 1 over x minus 3 squared dx and plus integral of uh, x dx and further we this side will be resulting to y and y is equal to uh, we can uh, integrate this by, by keep sending it to the as numerator so it will be x minus 3 whole raised by minus 2 and we can take uh, integral so it will be x minus 3 raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 over this will be minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 and plus integral of x will be x squared over 2 and plus integral constant c now we can find integral constant c value by using this point so 7 2 and 7 so value of y is 7 so 7 is equal to this will be minus x minus 3 raised to the power minus 1 and plus this will be x squared by 2 plus c and basically we can replace x over here x is 2 so we can write here 2 and this will be 2 squared and this will be 7 is equal to 
and this one will be minus 1 into 1 so it will be 1 over here and plus this will be 2 plus c and c is equal to 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 and this c value we can replace in this equation and we will get y is equal to we can write this as 1 over x minus 3 and this should be minus also this negative also we'll have to write and plus this will be x squared by 2 and plus c value which is 4 and this will be our final answer this was four mark question which we are done now question number three it says air is being pumped into a balloon in the shape of a sphere so that its volume is increasing at a constant rate uh, that is 50 centimeter cube per second so change in volume dv over dt with respect to time this is change in volume with respect to time and this is equal to 50 centimeter cube per second next they're saying find the rate at which the radius of the balloon is increasing when the radius is 10 centimeter so we need to find dr over dt change in radius with respect to time and change in radius with respect to time we can write chain rule like dr over dv into dv over dt we have the uh, dt over dv dv over dt we have and uh, dr over dt is also um, is also we can find basically dr over dt so we have v dv over dr volume is what volume of a volume of a sphere will be equal to 4 by 3 pi r cubed now we need uh, dr over this value is there which is this one 50 we need to find this value and for that one we are using this equation hopefully you understood this now we can move to the this equation we will take derivative dv over dr and derivative of this will be 4 by 3 as it is pi as it is because this is constant so derivative of r cubed will be 3 will be pulled first and r raised to the power 3 minus 1 which is 2 and now we can cancel this 3 with 3 and uh, our derivative will be 4 pi r squared and r value is provided when 10 r radius is 10 centimeter so we can write 4 pi r squared mean 10 squared which is equal to 10 squared will be 100 so 4 into 100 will be 400 400 pi and this value is keep in mind dv over dr now this value dv over dr we can replace and we can uh, we require dr over dv so dr over dt we can dv dr over dv we can take reciprocal of this value reciprocal of this value will be 1 over 400 pi and this value we will replace over here dr over dt is equal to dr over dv which is 1 over 400 pi and dv over dt which is provided over here which is a 50 centimeter cube so per second so it will be 50 over here and now we can simplify this this can be cancelled so uh, we can write in decimal or something like that so 50 over 400 and pi will be equal to 0 0.0398 so 0 0.0398 this will be centimeter because this is dr over dt so it will be change in radius per second so centimeter per second this will be uh, answer for this part which is three marks now we can move to question number four question number four says um, in the diagram 
diagram is provided in in the diagram the lower curve has equation y is equal to cos x so this is y is equal to cos x curve the upper curve shows the result of applying a combined uh, combination of transformations to y is equal to um, cos x find in terms of cosine function the equation of the upper curve so we will check um, how it is uh, changed so this will be if we check this uh, the curve which we have is over here and amplitude is over here which is one and in case of in case of this one if we check amplitude will be the maximum variation from the mean position and this is two so amplitude we will be checking the change in change in amplitude so we can write amplitude is what amplitude is five minus one and divided by two five we have taken five uh, minus one will be four and divided by two the complete we have taken from here both this one and this one which is uh, five minus one which is four so four divided by two will be equal to two so amplitude will be two so it is amplitude is change in amplitude is basically stretching uh, in y direction so by scale factor 2 which is this one so it will be stretch uh, in y direction in y direction so it is uh, stretched then the second thing which we can see is it is uh, uh, three units um, translated by three units translated by three units mean if you see mean position is over here we change color so mean position is over here this is the mean position and mean position in this case is moved over here so the difference between these two mean positions is one two three units so it is translated moved up so translation is what translation by vector translation vector is there is no change in x it's not moved right or left it is moved by three units up so y axis three units then uh, we can also figure out that uh, this is uh, this one is uh, pi at y the lower extreme is at y which is move uh, in between pi and three pi and this is moved to two pi in this case over here so this is moved to this new location so it is uh, along x axis it is being stretched by scale factor 2 this is pi this is 2 pi so we can write over here it will be stretch in stretch in x axis uh, by factor Two. so this will be and the final transformation if we want to write y will be equal to 2 cos of 1 by 2 theta plus 3 so this is the final uh, transformation which we are done with hopefully you understood this this is a, a three marks question which we are done now question number five question number five says um in the expression of this one binomial expansion the coefficient of x6 and x cube are equal find the value of non-zero constant a 
and this is uh, the condition of the question that 6 x6 six and x cube are equal so we need to identify coefficient of x6 and coefficient of x cube so we can expand to x squared plus a over x and we can expand this we can write 6 value 6 c0 and this will be 2x squared whole raised to the power 6 and a over x raised to the power 0 and the second term will be 6 c1 2x uh, squared raised to the power 5 and a over x raised to the power 1 similarly we can move 6 c2 and this will be 2x squared and raised to the power 4 a over x and this will be squared and next will be 6 c3 and this will be 2x squared whole raised to the power 5 uh, 3 and a over x raised to the power 3 and now we can write two more terms three more terms basically so we can use this space 6 c4 and this will be 2x squared and this will be squared Squared and a over a over x raised to the power 4 plus 6 c5 and 6 c5 and this will be 2 x squared whole squared and a over x raised to the power 5 and the last term will be 6 c6 and 2 x squared whole raised to the power uh, whole raised to the power this one should be 1 over here this one should be 1 and this should be 0 and next will be a over x raised to the power 6 now these are the six terms and if we check how we will get x raised to the power uh, 6 this one uh, this term if we check this term this term will be giving us 2 2 multiplied by 4 will be 8 and denominator will be x squared so x raised to the power 8 over x squared and this will be resulting to x raised to the power 6 so we are interested in this term which is resulting to x6 i am erasing the extra explanation and another term in which we are interested is uh, this term this one if you check this term this term will be having uh, 2 multiplied by 3 will be 6 so x raised to the power 6 over this will be x raised to the power 3 and this will be resulting to x raised to the power 3 so this term is also a term which in which we are interested so these two terms are resulting to coefficients of x square x raised to the power 6 and x raised to the power 3 now we can write for x raised to the power 6 for x raised to the power 6 6 c2 and 2x squared whole raised to the power 4 a over x raised to the power 2 and this will be equal to 6c2 is what 6c2 is resulting to 15 15 into uh, 2 raised to the power 4 so 2 raised to the power 4 will be 16 so 16 multiply by 16 and x raised to the power 8 multiply by a squared over x squared and this will be resulting to what this will be resulting to 15 multiplied by 16 is equal to 240 240 a squared and x raised to the power 6 so this will be the term which we, we will be getting for x raised to the power 6 now for x cubed x cubed we can write the other term which we have indicated 6 c3 and 2 x squared whole cubed and a over x 
whole raised to power 3 and we can write 6c3 will be uh, 6c3 will be giving us 20 so 20 into 2 raised to power 3 will be 8 and x raised to power 6 and a cubed over x cubed and this will be resulting to uh, this will be a 20 into 8 will be 160 x raised to the a raised to 3 and x raised to the power 3 now by the condition of the question we can write 240 uh, 240 a squared is equal to 1 only the coefficients we will equalize and we can simplify this and a we can shift to other side so a3 over a squared is equal to 240 over 160 and this implies what after cancellation this will be cancelled and 0 will be cancelled and 8 3s are 24 8 2s are 16 so a value will be equal to 3 by 2 this is the uh, a value which we are supposed to find we can use that uh, like this is full exp uh, like uh, expansion which I have done for binomial expansion so alternate also uh, alternative you can use like 6 C uh, R and 2 X squared you can just figure out like raised to power R and A over X raised to the power 6 minus R in this way you can figure out like for X cubed r will be equal to 3 and you will check directly for this implies 6 c 3 you will be checking and for x raised to power 6 r will be equal to r will be equal to 4 and this implies you can check 6 c 4 also and you can directly just go to these terms and equalize them this is also an alternate if you are comfortable with this you can do this alternative or otherwise full expansion I have done and this is question which we have gone through now uh, B part B part says find the coefficient of x6 in the expansion of this now we know this is uh, this is the extra portion which we can write 1 minus x raised per 3 and expansion of this uh, uh, later part we have already done which is 240 a squared x raised to power 6 plus 160 a raised to power 3 x raised to power 3 now we can um, we can basically simplify a raised a value which is 3 by 2 we can replace in this and this will be 1 minus x cubed and this will be 240 a is 3 by 2 so we can write 3 by 2 squared plus 160 and this will be 3 by 2 squared x raised to the power 3 next step we can simplify this will be 1 minus x cubed and if we simplify this with the calculator so it will be 240 multiply by 9 by 4 so 9 over 4 will be equal to 540 so 540 and this will be plus and this will be missed x raised for 6 over here so it will be 540 x raised for 6 plus this will be 16 multiply by 9 by 4 multiply by 9 over 9 over 4 and this is uh, giving us uh, not 16 should be 160 160 and this will be equal to 360 we have done one more mistake this should be cube over here so I think why we are doing so many mistakes so this will be 27 over 6 four and this will be resulting to so basically eight so 27 160 multiply by uh, 27 over 8 and this will be equal to 540 540 x cubed and if we open this one this will be 540 
the uh, the coefficients of x6 coefficients of x6 will be what so it will be 5 40 x raised for 6 and the other coefficient will be minus 5 40 x raised for 6 and this will be we can write coefficients of x6 so this will be cancelled and it will be equal to zero this will be this is one mark part which we are done now question number six question six says and the equation of the curve is given this one find the coordinates to the point in the curve at which the gradient is four by three and this is five mark question and so gradient is four by three so we'll find gradient of the curve or which is the derivative so this is the curve provided 25 minus x squared dy over dx dy over dx will be equal to uh, derivative of 2 will be 0 and derivative of this will be minus uh, over will be minus 2 so 2 25 minus x squared under root and into x uh, and this will be basically what uh, one by two and two is cancelled so hopefully you understood this how we have uh, taken derivative of this and we know this is equal to four by three so we can equalize it to four by three and further we can cross multiply minus three x is equal to four root of 25 minus x squared and this will be to get rid of the this under root will take square on both sides so minus 3 x squared is equal to 4 under root of 25 minus x and this will be taken square so it will be 9 x squared is equal to 4 for the 16 into 25 minus x squared and further we can open the bracket so it will be 9 x squared and this will be equal to uh, 16 multiplied by 25 16 multiplied by 25 will be resulting to 400 so this will be 400 minus this will be uh, 16 uh, x squared so minus 16 x squared uh, now we can uh, shift 16 also to other side so 9 x squared plus 16 x squared is equal to 400 so 9 plus 16 will be 25 x squared is equal to 400 this implies x squared is equal to 400 divided by 25 and 400 uh, 400 divided by 25 will be equal to 16 and we can write x value will be equal to plus minus 4 and now we can check like if it is positive value if it is plus 4 um, this will be resulting to this will be resulting to a negative value so negative value and we know that the gradient is positive so we cannot take uh, plus 4 so we we'll write plus 4 is not um, an answer uh, as it gives a negative gradient negative gradient I will write properly now x is e if x is equal to minus 4 so we'll write y is equal to 2 plus under root of 25 minus minus 4 squared this is the neg negative 4 value which we replaced and this will be equal to what 2 and plus this will be 4 squared will be 16 so it will be 9 under root which is 3 so this will be equal to y will be equal to 5 so if y is 5 x is minus 4 so our point will be minus 4 and 5 this is the point which we were uh, 
uh, supposed to find. Now, question number seven, trigonometric ratios. This is uh, this is given equal to two tan square x. We have to show and three marks part. So we can take uh, LCM of the left side, like over here. This will be LCM will be one minus sine theta and one plus sine theta and we can uh, write here by cross multiplying so sine theta into one plus uh, sine theta and minus sine theta into one minus sine theta and after taking this LCM we can open the brackets in numerator so it will be sine theta plus sine sine square theta sine square theta minus this will be sine theta minus sine not minus plus sine square theta over uh, we know a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so it will be one squared which is one minus sine square theta and we can cancel uh, this plus sine theta with minus sine theta and sine square theta plus cos uh, sine square theta plus two uh, this, these two will add up to two sine square theta over this will be one minus sine square theta is equal to cos square theta so we can write cos square theta and sine square theta or cos square theta will be two into tan square theta and this is the thing which we wanted to prove and we have shown this is three marks part which we are done now b part b part says hence solve the equation this is the same thing equal to eight for this range so we know this side is two sine square theta, uh, two tan square theta so this will be two tan square theta and equal to 8 so will equalize to 8 and this implies tan square theta is equal to 8 by 2 which is equal to 4 so tan um, uh, tan theta will be equal to plus minus uh, this one will be plus minus 2 plus minus 2 we have taken under root so plus minus 2 so theta will be equal to tan inverse of of plus minus 2 so if we take theta as uh, 2 so tan inverse of 2 will be equal to or tan inverse of 2 shift tan of uh, 2 will be equal to uh, in degree mode so shift mode uh, degree will be 3 and this is equal to 63.43 so we can write 63.43 degrees and now we can check the quadrant and if we check the quadrant it will be like this one so 63.43 will be like over here so our angle will be 63.43 degrees and this will be over here this one okay now the other angle we can check for this range we have to go up to 180 only and that will be minus so tan inverse of minus 2 will be equal to what that one we can take up to mm, this one this will be 63.43 and the remaining angle we can check from here this will be 180 minus 180 minus 63.43 and this will be equal to 116.6 degrees so we can write 116.6 degrees and these two will be our final answer for this part hopefully you understood this now the other angles are basically 
out of the range so we are not discussing those angles now question number eight question number eight is uh, a geometric progression has first term a and common ratio r and sum of infinity s and a second geometric progression has a first term a common ratio capital r and the sum of infinity to s show that this is equal to this so we can write sum of infinity will be equal to uh, 2s of infinity and we can use the formula like a over 1 minus r this will be in case of first geometric progression and for second geometric progression we can take 2 into a over 1 minus this first one should be for the second one should be capital R this one so we have multiplied this first s infinity by 2 and we have equalized it to the second one hopefully you understood this now we can uh, just find small r value we'll make small r as subject so we can shift 1 minus r is equal to 2a over a into 1 minus capital r and further this a will be cancelled so r will be equal to 1 minus 1 minus r uh, and there is 2 also which we can write over here so r will be equal to 1 minus 2 plus 2r and we can write this will be 2r minus 1 and this will be equal to r and this was what we were supposed to show over here this was three marks part which we are done this is straightforward now um, b part b part says it is now given that third term of the first geometric uh, first progression is equal to the second term of the second progression uh, express s in terms of a so third term of first progression so it will be t3 of 1 is equal to second term of second so uh, is equal to second term um, of uh, second term of second progression so this will be a, a raised to the power a r raised to the power um, 2 3 minus 1 so it will be 2 and this is equal to a r, a r because this is second term so r and now we can we know that small r is equal to 2 we can replace the value 2 r capital r minus 1 which we just found in the previous uh, question over here and the same value we have replaced over here and this will be taken as square is equal to a r now a we can cancel on both sides this one is gone and remaining we can open this will be 4 r squared plus 1 minus 2 into 2 4 so 4 capital r is equal to r now we can shift this r also to this side so 4 r squared and this will be minus uh, 5 r and plus 1 equal to 0 now we, we can solve this quadratic equation and this will be mode 5 3 coefficient of r square is 4 coefficient of r is minus 5 and constant is 1 so we can uh, take it as 1 and 1 by 4 so r will be equal to 1 and r will be equal to 1 by 4 directly we can write or you can write like r minus 1 and 4 r minus 1 is equal to 0 and r is equal to uh, 1 we don't want common ratio to be 1 so this is uh, gone and this will be our value r is equal to 1 by 4 which we can replace r is equal to 2 capital r 
minus 1 this will be equal to 2 into 1 by 4 minus 1 and this will be resulting 2 this will be cancelled so 1 by 2 minus 1 will be minus 1 by 2 this will be r value now s is equal to a over 1 minus r this is the formula which we know a value is a and 1 minus r value is minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 over here and a over this will be 3 by 2 and we can uh, use fraction over fraction rule so it will be 2a over 3 and this will be our final answer for this question hopefully you understood this now question number 9 question number 9 is interesting this is saying the diagram shows a circle with center a this is center a through the point b and the circle is passing through the this point b a second circle has a center b and passes through a so both circles are uh, passing through centers are passing through the circumference of the other circle so the tangent at b to the first circle intersects the second circle at c and d the coordinates of a are minus 1 4 and coordinates of b are 3 and 2 find the equation of the tangent c b d this is a two marks part which we have to do and they, they have provided the values basically points coordinates for a a is having minus 1 and minus 1 and 4 and b coordinate are 3 and 2 so we can write 3 and 2 now um, to first of all we will join b a b and we will find the gradient and we will be utilizing this one so this is perpendicular and gradient of a b will be what gradient of a b will be equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and we can take it as 2 minus 4 y2 4 y1 over x2 minus x1 3 minus minus 1 and this will be equal to minus 2 over 4 which is equal to minus 1 by 2 so this is the gradient of a b now gradient of dc slope of dc will be reciprocal and change sign of this and that will be change sign mean plus and reciprocal will be 2 so this will be the gradient for dc now we will be utilizing this gradient and we will be b point is on the gradient b point is having these coordinates so we can use this b point 3 and 2 and we can write equation and equation of line in point slope form is what y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and this will be what y minus y1 will be 2 and uh, is equal to gradient is 2 and x minus x value is 3 so we can write y is equal to 2x minus 6 and 2 we can minus 2 we can shift to other side so it will be plus 2 so final equation will be y is equal to 2x minus 4 this will be our final equation which you are supposed to find hopefully you understood this this was too much question now b part they are saying find an equation of the circle uh, with center b now center is b so equation of the circle we can write x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared so a b values if we replace a b values x minus 3 squared and plus y minus 2 squared 3 and 2 are the coordinates of b so we can write here b 3 and 2 and we are using this and this is equal to r squared and r we don't have we can find r r will be a b magnitude this will be r and we can write it as this will be 3 minus minus 1 squared x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 will be uh, 2 minus uh, this will be what 2 minus 4 
we can write a little bigger squared this will be the formula which we have applied distance formula and this will be equal to uh, 4 squared will be 16 plus this will be minus 2 squared will be 4 so this one will be 20 square root of 20 this is a b which is r value basically now we can you we can rewrite this equation x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared minus 2 squared is equal to under root of 20 squared and square and under root will be cancelled and we will get equation x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 20 and this will be the final equation this was three marks part which we are done now we can move to the uh, part c part c says find by calculation the coordinates of c and d now first of all um, we know equation of uh, dc or cd will be what y is equal to 2x minus 4 which we have done over here y is equal to 2x minus 4 and we, we can we know the equation of circle just now we are done with this so x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 20 and we can replace value of y from this equation in this equation so x minus 3 squared plus y value will be 2x minus 4 minus 2 and this will be squared is equal to 20. now we can open the brackets open the square so it will be first of all one more step i'll just write this one and simplify this will be minus 6 and this will be squared is uh, and minus 20 also i can shift to the side now we can open the square so it will be x squared plus 9 plus 2 in, uh, not plus minus minus 2 into 3 will be 6 so 6x and this will be plus this one will be 4x squared plus 6 square will be 36 and minus 2 into 2 4 4 into 6 will be 24 x and minus 20 is equal to 0 adding like terms so 4 x square plus x square will be 5 x squared and minus 6 and minus 24 x so it will be minus 30 x so minus 30 x and the constant values are 36 plus 9 and minus 20 will be resulting to plus 25 we can check with the calculator also so by dividing everything by 5 so we'll get x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0 and we can solve this quadratic equation so coefficients of uh, x square x and constant we will be replacing so 1 and minus 6 and constant is 5 so this will be giving us 5 and 1 so we can write x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 1 and this will be they are asking for x coordinates so x coordinates of cd we have written hopefully you understood this question number 10 diagram is provided the diagram shows a sector cab this complete complete drawing is a sector of a bigger circle and radius is like for example this one ac is the radius so it is saying which is a part of a circle with center c a circle with center o this one this is another circle which is uh, shown over here and radius r lies within the sector and touches it at d d e and f where c o d is a straight line c o d is a straight line and angle a c d is theta radian so this is the description provided and a is find c d in terms of r and sine theta so uh, we can understand this so whatever i've shaded i will remove and now we can 
discuss this one so cd is uh, um, is equal to what uh, we can consider uh, this triangle and we know that circle and this tangent is making an angle of uh, 90 degree this one so this is right angle triangle and this is theta radian which is provided so o c is uh, hypotenuse opposite to the right angle is hypotenuse so oc r is this one of so in triangle uh, OCF so we can write over here in triangle OCF uh, OF OF over OC is equal to sine of theta sine of theta this is in radians and now we can uh, rewrite it as uh, sine OC is equal to O F O F is basically R so R over sine theta R over sine theta so we found O C by considering by considering which triangle by considering this triangle we have done this so now we can uh, we know that o CD is equal to OC plus OD. So we can write CD is equal to CD is equal to OC OC plus OD and this will be equal to what R over sine theta and plus OD is equal to R. OD is equal to R which we know this is also radius so this is also r now this will be our cd value which we were supposed to find and this was three marks question which we are done now they are saying it is now given that r value is 4 and theta is pi by 6 and what we have to do find the parameter of the sector cab in the terms of y so sector CAB will be comprising AC and BC or you can say 2 of CD we already found CD so we can write perimeter will be equal to what perimeter of CAB uh, sector sector CAB will be equal to 2 into CD plus AB arc this arc will be this one so we need this one and double of uh, uh, CD will be uh, perimeter of this one so we can rewrite it as 2 of CD is what CD we just found R over R theta R over sine theta r over sine theta and arc uh, this is uh, plus r also plus r we found over here this one this is value of cd which we are utilizing now a b is what a b is c d plus this will be c d plus 2 theta so not plus basically r theta r theta is multiplied so r theta in this case is 2 theta so r theta this is the length l is equal to r theta formula which we are applying so this will be equal to what 2 into this will be r is equal to 4 and sine theta is sine pi by 6 plus this will be 4 plus this cd value will be again 4 over sine pi by 6 and plus 4 this will be cd value and this will be multiplied by 2 theta and theta is pi over 6 this one now further we can simplify this will be 2 
and we can find this value by the help of calculator also so this will be 4 over uh, sine of uh, pi by 6 pi over 6 and bracket close and over here this will be um, we can write this is equal to we can shift mode and radian mode will be 4 and this is equal to 8 so 8 plus 4 and plus this will be again 8 plus 4 into uh, we can cancel this 2 and th this will be 3 so pi by 3 pi over 3 now we can uh, simplify this one will be 8 plus 4 will be 12 12 into 2 will be 24 24 plus this will be uh, 8 plus 4 will be 12 12 divided by 3 will be 4 so 4 pi so this will be our final answer and this question was also 3 marks now uh, c part c part says find the area of the shaded region in terms of pi n under root 3 so shaded region will be equal to what shaded area shaded area will be equal to 2 times area of triangle and that is uh, triangle uh, cof so cof triangle 2 times area of uh, triangle cof and minus we have to subtract area of sector area of sector which is uh, foe so we can check from the diagram also foe and this is what area of triangle is half into base into height or the other formula will be using half into r and the other side is oc and sine of theta this one minus 1 by 2 and this will be r square and 2 into uh, this is the uh, area of the sector formula r square 2 into r square theta basically this will be pi by 2 minus theta we can take this angle this angle we can take as pi by 2 minus theta this angle we can take as pi by 2 minus theta now we can we can replace the values r is equal to 4 we know r it is given r is equal to 4 and theta is equal to pi by 6 these values if we replace we will get 2 into 1 by 2 and this will be what this will be uh, OC value will be uh, OC value will be R over sine of pi by 6 so R will be multiplied by this this R so this R okay I will write separately R and R over sine theta sine theta mean pi by 6 pi over 6 and sine of and this will be uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 6 this should be um, uh, 90 minus theta or pi by 2 minus theta this sine theta will be the theta which we have indicated over here so we are talking about this theta hopefully you are understanding that's why we have taken pi by 2 minus 6 pi and the second portion which is uh, uh, area of sector will be 1 by 2 and this will be 4 squared uh, and this will be 2 into pi by 2 minus pi by uh, 6 and we can replace in this also so r value if we replace r value so 2 we can cancel this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 so r squared will be 4 squared over sine of pi by 6 
and sine of this will be multiplication sine of pi by 2 minus pi by 6 and this will be minus we can cancel this 2 so it will be 16 4 squared will be 16 and pi by 2 minus pi by 6 and we can simplify this will be 4 squared uh, 4 squared which is 16 over we can write 16 divided by sine of pi by 6 so sine of uh, pi over 6 will be equal to what this will be equal to 32 so we can write this as uh, 32 into sine of this one sine of sine of pi by pi by 2 pi by 2 minus pi by 6 so pi over 6 will be equal to uh, this will be under root 3 by 2 so under root 3 by 2 and minus this will be 16 uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 6 will be uh, if we remove the sign from here so we will get this one pi by 2 minus pi by 6 and this will be equal to pi by 3 so we can write here pi by 3 we can write like this and 2 we can cancel with this it will be 16 under root 3 and minus this will be 16 over 3 pi and this will be the final answer for this question hopefully you understood this the calculation was a little lengthier but it's fine now question number 11 the function f and g are defined this one and find the expression for f of g of x so f of uh, g of x we can replace f of g of x value will be 2x plus 1 and we can replace in f of x which will be 2x plus 1 squared and plus 3 and this will be expression one mark part and this is sufficient for that one b part find an expression for f of g inverse of x and state the domain of this one so we can write y is equal to y is equal to 2x plus 1 squared and plus 3 which we found in part a now we'll have to make x a subject so y minus 3 will be equal to 2x plus 1 squared and this one we can uh, take a root on both sides so 2x plus 1 will be equal to plus minus under root of y minus 3 and 2x will be equal to minus 1 plus minus under root y minus 3 and similarly x will be equal to what x will be equal to minus 1 plus minus under root y minus 3 over 2 and now we can write this one be, um, for the range x value we found uh, domain of domain of x f g inverse will be range of f g if we check this one range will be what it will be uh, more than 3 so x square is a positive value so a positive value is added in 3 so x is greater than 3 so we can write x is greater than 3 this will be domain of domain of f g inverse is is equal to this one so or we can instead of writing equal to we can put comma so this one now c part c part says solve the equation f g of x minus 3 is equal to g of f of x now we have f g of x this portion we already have so we can write that portion which is 2x plus 1 squared plus 3 and this minus 3 we can write over here 
now we need this portion g of f of x which we can find g of uh, f of x will be equal to we will replace f of x in g of x and f of x is x squared plus 3 we will replace in 2x plus 1 so we will get 2 into x value we will replace x squared plus 3 and plus 1 so this will be the expression which we will be copying over here this will be 2 into x squared plus 3 and plus 1 further we can simplify this will be cancelled and we can open the square so 4x squared plus 1 plus uh, 4x is equal to 2x squared plus 6 and plus 1 now we can shift everything to the other side so it will be 4x squared minus 2x squared and plus 1 plus 4x plus 1 plus 4x and minus 7 so this will be equal to 0 and this will be 2x squared plus 4x and minus 6 is equal to 0 again quadratic equation so mode 5 3 and uh, 2 value and 4 and minus 6 and this will be 1 and minus 3 so x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 3 and if we check this one minus 3 is not in within this range x is greater than 0 and x is greater than minus 2 so minus 3 value we will reject and we will take only x value which is 1 and this is done with the question now question number 12 question number 12 diagram is provided which is giving us detail the diagram shows a curve with equation y is equal to uh, 4x raised by minus 1 uh, raised by 1 by 2 minus 2 so this is the curve for x is greater than equal to 0 and a straight line with the equation y is equal to 3 minus x uh, the curve crosses the x axis at 4 and 0 and crosses the straight line at b and c so b and c find by calculation the co x coordinate of b and c so we need only x coordinate we don't need the complete point so what we can do we can equalize the equations to find the coordinate so this will be 3 minus x is equal to 4 x raised to a 1 by 2 minus 2 x and we can uh, shift 3 minus x to other side so we'll get 4 x raised but uh, basically we can shift the other side so it will be 2 x minus 4 x raised by 1 by 2 and minus x and plus 3 is equal to 0 now this will be this will be um, minus 2x and minus x will be x and uh, plus this will be 4 and we can write x under root and plus 3 is equal to 0 and this one we can write x under root square and this will we can put uh, y is equal to x under root and this will be y squared plus 4y plus 3 is equal to 0 now this is quadratic equation in terms of y and we can solve this quadratic equation coefficient of x y square is 1 then y is 4 and constant is 3 and this will be equal to minus 1 and minus 3 minus 1 and minus 3 we have done mistake over here basically this should be minus over here and this one minus no this is correct if we rewrite the value so 1 minus 4 and 3 and this is equal to 3 and 1 so y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 y value is under root x is equal to 1 and under root x is equal to 3 so x will be equal to 1 and x is equal to 9 these are the two values x is equal to 1 will be this value which is uh, closer to b 
so x is equal to 1 will be this value x is equal to 1 will be this value this is one value and x is equal to 3 will be x no 3 x is equal to 9 sorry so x is equal to 9 will be uh, this value this value will be x is equal to 9 so this is 9 and now what is next show that b is a stationary point on the curve so for the stationary point on the curve we are taking derivative so derivative dy over dx of the curve and that is curve is 4x raised to 1 by 2 minus 2x so derivative of 4x raised to 1 by 2 will be x raised to minus 1 by 2 and minus 2 so this will be the derivative now we can find uh, for the stationary point derivative is equal to 0 at x is equal to 1 we can check so dy over dx at x is equal to 1 uh, we can check this will be cancelled so 2 so 2 into 1 raised to minus 1 by 2 minus 2 and this will be equal to 0 and this shows that this is stationary stationary point so next is find the area of the shaded region this is c part find the area of the shaded region this is six mark question and at x is equal to nine at x is equal to nine y value will be what y value will be uh, this at this point y value will be zero but for this one for c x will be nine and y value will be uh, we can replace in the equation y is equal to 3 minus x so this will be 3 minus 9 which is equal to minus 6 so this will be minus 6 so c point will be uh, 9 and minus 6 we got this c point and a point is this one so we can uh, consider basically this uh, triangle we can uh, what we can do we will find area of the triangle and then we will find area of the curve area of the curve uh, upper like we will find what will be our strategy our strategy will be we will consider this triangle like uh, I'll show you the triangle. So we will be considering this triangle, uh, which is bigger one, and the triangle is this whole triangle we will consider. And from this triangle, we will be um, subtracting the minus area, the the area above the curve so that will be uh, for that one we require this point and this point is uh, if we replace y is equal to 0 in this equation we will get x is equal to 3 so this point will be 3 and 0 so a uh, this point from 3 0 to 9 will be 6 units so this side is six units and this side is also six units because this is minus six so we can now uh, find the area also area will be equal to what so we can write here at x is equal to z x is equal to nine y will be equal to this is the step which we have already done above with the drawing but i'm writing here for working so that we can show working and now shaded area is equal to what shaded area is equal to area of triangle and minus integral area of from 4 to 9 
y dx so this area we will be subtracting so area of triangle will be what 1 by 2 into base which is 6 and height 6 which i have shown from on the drawing also and minus integral 4 to 9 and the curve is what 4x raised to 1 by 2 minus 2x dx so we will integrate this portion and this after cancellation this will be 3 and we will get this one as 18 so 18 minus now we can integrate this portion which is uh, integral of 4x raised to 1 by 2 will be 4x raised to the power 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 and minus this will be 2x squared over 2 and integral limits we can write 4 to 9 and now we can cancel this 2 with this one and we can rewrite it as we can rewrite it as 18 and this will be 8 by 3 fraction over fraction rule so 8 by 3 x raised to 3 by 2 minus x squared and integral limits 4 to 9 further we can uh, just uh, replace the limits so upper limit will be replaced first and it will be 8 by 3 and 9 raised to the power 3 by 2 and minus this will be 9 squared and this will be our upper limit then minus the lower limit and lower limit will be 8 by 3 and 4 raised to power 3 by 2 and minus this will be 4 squared and bracket close and this one we can rewrite as 18 18 minus this will be we can use calculator for this one so this will be 8 over 3 and multiplied by 9 raised to the power 3 over 2 and this will be resulting to 72 so we can write 72 and minus 81 and this one will put in brackets minus this will be um, again 8 over 3 and multiplied by 4 squared and this will be equal to uh, this will be equal to uh, four not scared this should be four raised to the power three over two and this will be equal to 64 by three so we can write 64 by three minus 16 and for the simplification will be minus 72 minus 81 will be minus 9 and minus this one will be 63 by 4 minus 16 and this will be like this one so 18 minus we can calculate this will be minus 9 minus 9 minus in bracket 63 over 4 and minus 16 bracket close will be resulting to um, minus 35 over 60 it should be 64 by 3 we have written this one so this will be 64 over 3 like this so this will be equal to minus 43 over 8 M minus 43 over 3 minus 43 over 3 and we can put this in brackets uh, minus we can write here minus and minus 43 over 3 so we will be taking positive value over here so we can write mod of 43 over 3 and this will be equal to what this will be equal to uh, 18 and minus positive value will be 43 over 3 and this will be resulting to 11 by 3 11 by 3 or uh, we can write in decimal value 3.67 3.67 this will be units units square this will be the 
final answer for this question we are done with the paper hopefully you understood each and everything don't forget to subscribe the channel also press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos and i'll be waiting for your comments recommend this channel to your friends friends and classmates also recommend this channel to your um, class fellows and introduce this channel to your respected teachers thank you very much for watching take care bye